Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the damn time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for some extreme cleaning and decluttering motivation. In this video, I am getting it all done, cleaning my entire apartment, tackling laundry, working on some decluttering and organizing of my toddler's toy collection. Every room was in need of a major reset after a super busy weekend, so I hope that this video gives you a ton of cleaning motivation. There's also a giveaway in this video for my subscribers, so make sure that you stick around to hear more about that and how you can enter. Where are you looking at me so cold? One's love is nowhere. The first thing that I'm doing is just cleaning up my room a little bit, tidying up. Carson loves to bring toys into my bed in the morning and we just lay in there for a really long time before getting up for the day. It's been kind of our morning routine ever since quarantine started. I really wanted to wash both my sheets and my duvet cover, but I knew I had a lot of other laundry that I needed to do on this day. So instead I just freshened things up with some linen spray that I actually made from essential oils. And then I also spot treated my duvet cover. There were just a couple of little stains on it. I have no idea where they came from, but I do this by mixing some Dawn dish soap with hot water and then dipping a microfiber cloth into the suds and using that to just wipe away stains. And it really does work. I use this on my couch. I use this on my duvet cover, really anywhere, even my rug. And it definitely helps get the stains out. This is actually my first giveaway ever and I'm really excited to be doing this and giving back to my subscribers. I'm going to be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to one lucky winner. To enter this giveaway, you need to first of all be subscribed to my channel and also following me over on my Instagram. And then to spice things up, I thought it would be kind of funny to have you comment below the accurate number of different pairs of shorts or pants that you see Carson has changed himself into throughout this video because toddlers are weird and if you can do all of those three things then you will be entered into the giveaway I saw you from across the room. it is crazy to me how much things can fall apart in just a few days I took two days off from really doing anything and that was because it was the 4th of July and then it was also Carson's birthday the next day. So we were really, really busy and I just didn't do really anything and it showed. My apartment was disgusting and it needed to be cleaned so badly. So this really was like an all day cleaning marathon but the worst part is that by the time I went to bed, it really didn't even look that clean. So does anyone else feel like they work their butt off cleaning and cleaning all day long and then they look around at the end of the day and there is still mess staring them in the face. I think that's just life with a toddler, life with kids, with a family and I love it. But at the same time, sometimes I just wish I could have a completely clean home for like 24 hours. The first load of laundry of the day is actually my clothes. Sometimes I do my own laundry. Occasionally I have to take care of myself. So I'm doing my own laundry first. And I like to use the Method scent boosters. They smell amazing. So I always throw those in with my laundry specifically. And it actually makes my entire apartment smell really, really nice. I had some questions about how I planned to empty this lint bin and this is how, just stick my hand right in there. I don't need any sort of liner, lint tends to stick to itself and it's just not a big deal for me to just reach in and grab it. I don't know you, but I want to. 
The next thing that I did was just try to tidy up and I didn't do this in any sort of method. I just went around and grabbed things as I saw them. There was clothes thrown absolutely everywhere. I have no idea how that happened, but I was kind of all over the place here because my life my apartment was completely all over the place and I just needed to start picking up as much as possible and get as much as I could done before I put Carson down for a nap. I really don't like to spend the entire day cleaning when he is with me because I feel bad and I feel like he's asking me every two seconds, are you going to play with me? Can you play with me? And Honestly, at the end of the day, playing with him and that quality time with him is so much more important than having a clean house. So I do try to keep most of my cleaning for when he is asleep as much as I would love to take a nap myself. I just think it's so much more important that I'm spending my quality time with him and then using his nap time to be productive. At this point, I remembered that my e-cloths were finally clean. I had finally done a load of laundry with all of my rags and my e-cloths were ready to be used. So I grabbed one and I was using that from that point forward to just wipe down all of the surfaces in my kitchen. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Before I could move on to anything else, I just needed to clear off all of my countertops. There was stuff absolutely everywhere. When I used to live in my old house, I had like a big peninsula in my kitchen and that was my catch-all. And I couldn't stand that because it would get so cluttered. But now I don't have that and my kitchen countertops have just become my catch-all, which is terrible. And I'm just curious, what is your catch-all in your house? Do you have a desk? Do you have like a closet? What is it? Where do you put all the crap when you don't feel like putting it away? For me, it's the kitchen countertops. And I wish that I could break myself of that habit and just put things away as I find them instead of just throwing them somewhere. I mentioned in my last video how hand washing your dishes is actually a lot more wasteful as far as water goes than putting your dishes in the dishwasher. And this is coming from someone who used to love hand washing their dishes, but now I try to do it as little as possible just to save water. Even if you turn off the tap while you're scrubbing each dish and then turn it back on to rinse it off, you're still wasting more water than you would using the dishwasher. The only way that you would actually save water by hand washing your dishes is if you had a two basin sink and you filled one side up with hot soapy water and then one side up with some cold water to rinse your dishes off. But I personally think that sounds so gross to wash your dishes in the same hot soapy water it just something about that just doesn't sit right with me so i personally just prefer to use my dishwasher as much as possible now yeah i know that I get some questions about a couple of things that I have in my kitchen, so I'm just going to address where they're from really quickly right here. So first of all, my diffuser, a lot of people ask me where that is from. That's just from Young Living. It came with my starter kit that I got a long time ago. It's the only diffuser that I have and I really like it. And then the stand that it is on is actually from Sensi, and Sensi, if you've never heard of it before, it is like a wax 
warmer and you get little wax cubes and you melt them and they smell really nice so it's meant to actually disguise your cord which is why i like it it wraps around right underneath it so it just leaves a little bit less cords on the countertop and then also my hand and dish soap those bottles were from etsy This ended up being a total fail and I just left it in here anyway because I like the idea and I'm hoping that I can figure it out pretty soon but I got this basket and I meant to use it for vegetables that can't be stored in the refrigerator and I just couldn't get it to stick to this surface and I live in an apartment so I don't really want to be drilling into anything especially not this particular piece of cabinetry I think that would probably be a really bad idea but I just couldn't get anything to stick there and this fell down. It did look cute while I was up there, but it didn't last very long. We felt the sunshine, we found the gold. We thought we'd be forever young, but now I know. We can't keep floating, we have to fall. This is the beat of broken hearts, is it our lost? We can't go on. The appliances in my apartment kitchen are awful. They're always covered in fingerprints, but the best product that I have found for cleaning them is e-cloths. And I talk about this every single week when I'm cleaning these in my videos, but I just really want you guys to know how great they are and how impressed I am with them. I have tried everything else and this is the only product that I'm able to clean my appliances with without them being so horribly streaky. So as always, there is a link in my description box below and that will take you right to the eCloth website so you can check these out for yourself. eCloth has a ton of amazing products. I really, really love their general purpose cloths and their stainless steel cloths and I also want to purchase their floor and wall duster, I believe it's called, that I keep hearing my friend Megan from the channel Loving Life as Megan talking about. And hopefully I can get my hands on that soon. It's just one of those things I keep forgetting to purchase it and I need to get on that. Every once in a while, I like to completely go through all of Carson's toys and just try to sort through them and get rid of the things that he's not using. Sometimes trash ends up in all of his toys, so I like to get rid of that. And his toys will also have little pieces that end up all over the place and not with the toy that they belong to so it's just good to go through them every once in a while he really hadn't been playing with any of the things that were in his little toy box and it was time for me to sort through those completely it was also getting excessively difficult to clean up his toys at the end of the day and i felt like a lot of the times i was just throwing them in a bin and there was no rhyme or reason to anything and then he couldn't find the things that he was looking for so we're both happy that I finally did this and just went through everything and minimalized the toy collection that we keep in the living room. While I was doing this, I was kind of making piles. So I was making a pile of things that I was getting rid of. I had a little bag. I was throwing everything in the little bag. I was trying to keep all the dinosaurs together, all the monster trucks together, all the sharks together, all of his character toys together, and just get them all into little sections and in little bins to make sure that there was some sort of organization going on. It can be really, really hard to figure out how to organize kids' toys, and I don't feel like I'm an expert on this. I think I need to buy a better system for this, but you'll see when I show you in a couple of minutes how everything ends up turning out, and it's fine for now, but I really want to think of something that is apartment-friendly and small and easy for us to use to store all of his toys and is not an eyesore. We're walking down a path 
Carson has a closet in his bedroom that's actually really big and we double it as a playroom for him. So this bin I'm just filling up with things that needed to make their way either back into the closet or I needed to find a space for in his closet. And of course before putting anything back out, while I had the floor pretty much emptied I just gave everything a really good vacuum. Okay, I feel so good about going through all of Carson's toys. This bin is like the bin from hell. I really need to get something else because it's like completely falling apart. I've had it for a while, but for now, this is what I use. And I went through this, it was completely full before and Carson wasn't using, I wanna say like 80% of what was in here. So I went through it all and in here, I've just got things that don't fit in his bins that I keep on the windowsill. These are the toys that he uses the most. He is obsessed with sharks. And dinosaurs, dino trucks, and Paw Patrol. And this I just put in here to see if you if you wanted to play with it. But these are the things that he uses the most often. He just loves these little figurines. So I keep these in these clear acrylic bins. I have these linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. But he loves these toys. They're his favorite. So I just keep them easily accessible. And then at night, when it's time to go to bed, I do one of these and you can't see them anymore. So I like those there and then in his bin is just bigger dinosaurs a couple of trucks and things but nothing too crazy in there and he can easily see everything now so i'm glad that i did that and then just a couple of his books i keep in here and then back there are his train tracks and then he just got this for his birthday so i'm leaving this out here for now for him to play with and it's the pj masks headquarters he is obsessed with pj masks too so he was really excited for this on his birthday. And then I use my media console to store toys as well. So he's got some more Paw Patrol, some PJ Masks. He's got a bulldozer, things like that in these cabinets. So both sides. This one's got a bunch of little trucks that he likes to play with, some more dinosaurs, and then just more trucks and things. His Rusty Rivets is another favorite right now, so he just got that for his birthday as well. And then I do keep toys underneath my furniture, so I keep his puzzles underneath the media console. He knows that they're there, so he doesn't forget about them. He loves puzzles, and he does these all of the time. And then my couch is also raised, so I store his kinetic sand under here. I do need to clean under the couch, but his kinetic sand, and then I also have some more of his Paw Patrol, and those are dinosaurs that you can take apart and turn them into other dinosaurs, and he loves those. So I keep those under there as well, but that's all the toys that I keep in the living room. Everything else is in his closet, which we double as a playroom. So I never want my living room to be too crowded, and I do live in an apartment with kind of limited space, so I really like just keeping kind of a minimal collection of toys for him. Out here this bag of toys 
is all trash it's just things that we've had forever that he's not playing with that aren't really donatable and they're just either that or they are just trash so got that bag full of toys this i'm keeping but i need to put this in his room and he is napping right now so i actually have this whole basket over here of toys that i need to find a place for in his closet because he's not really using them and they're just taking up space in here and i think they'd be better off in his closet in his cube organizer where he can see them and he'll be more likely to play with them Here I'm just using the same trick that I used before with the Dawn dish soap and the hot water on a microfiber cloth to spot treat any stains that I find. I started to do this on my pillowcase covers as well and then I decided that they just really needed to be washed because I had yet to wash them and I've had them on there for a couple of months. So I'm just going to take those off and throw those in the wash. My cat likes to scratch at my couch, so I actually have cat scratching preventative tape on my couch, and this is how you do it. I just figured I'd include it for any of you cat owners who might have this problem. It's just like a double-sided clear tape. You put it down with the white side up, and then you peel that part off when you have it where you want it, and you can't really see it. It's kind of difficult because... Like, for example, I have a toddler and he'll walk into it and he'll get stuck to it or, I don't know, cat fur will get on it and they get kind of gross, but they do actually prevent your cat from scratching. So I'm hoping that if I just keep up with it and have those on there for quite some time, it will really help to prevent him from scratching and hopefully he'll just get over whatever attraction he has to that corner of my couch and start using his scratching post that is right there. But if any of you cat owners are interested in checking out this tape, it really does help. I'm going to put it in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my description box. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. The trash situation was completely overflowing. I have trash valet at my apartment so I just take my trash out my front door and five days a week they come and they just take it from me and it's amazing they're like trash fairies but I had missed a day and they also don't come on Sundays so it was a couple of days worth of trash and I really needed to sort through everything the recycling was overflowing from Carson's birthday and him getting presents so I'm just gonna spend a couple of minutes breaking down boxes and getting all of this sorted Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless This is kind of like my dirty little secret. This is my linen closet that is in Carson's bathroom. It is always a complete disaster and it's to the point where when I open the door, things fall out at me. So that's why I'm cleaning up all these band-aids off of the floor that had fallen out the last time I opened it up. This closet really needs a complete overhaul but I haven't had the opportunity to do that today. I'm just gonna sort through it a little bit and just try to get rid of a couple of things that I knew we weren't using and just make it a little bit less likely to topple out of the closet door when I open it. But I really wanna film a complete 
declutter, organize, clean of this bathroom. I also really want to decorate it. So be on the lookout for that video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss it. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that you even want to see. I'm excited about it, but I want to make sure that I'm filming videos that you guys want to see. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. Before I get the comments about this, yes, I am spraying disinfectant on the floor in my bathroom and it didn't damage my floor, nothing happened. I just honestly was being lazy and didn't want to break out my steam mop and Carson had a couple of bathroom related incidents on the floor area, so I was just kind of spot treating it a little bit. <laughs> Now we are back at the laundry again. I'm taking all of my laundry out of the dryer and then switching over the pillowcase covers that I had thrown in from the couch. Now I don't enjoy folding laundry. In fact, I completely despise it. So I didn't want to take a lot of time showing this to you guys because I don't think you guys probably like watching someone fold laundry either. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just personally hate laundry. So we're gonna get through this really, really quickly and move on to something else. It was finally time for me to put my pillowcase covers back on my pillows. These covers are from Woven Nook, if you're interested. I actually have two more pillowcase covers that came with this set, and they look completely different than the ones that are on the couch, and they're adorable, but I've just been so, so lazy, I guess you could say, and also cheap, not wanting to order any more pillow inserts. So hopefully soon I can get myself to go ahead and do that because it would look really nice if I had all four pillows on the couch instead of just two. At this point, Carson had woken up from his nap and I knew I wanted to wash his sheets and also all of his laundry. He had changed like a million times into different pants on this day. Hopefully you're keeping track so you can enter the giveaway, but I needed to wash all of his clothes and his sheets. So I'm just throwing in yet another load of laundry. <laughs> This is Carson's closet slash mini playroom. So I'm just kind of picking it up a little bit. It tends to get really messy. It is a pretty small space, so that's pretty understandable. I did not take apart his magnet tiles, however, because if I took that apart, all hell would break loose. 
but I tidied up everything else and made some space for the basket of things that I had grabbed from the living room while he was asleep. To party, to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. This is the entryway to my apartment. I don't show it very often because it's not the most beautiful thing ever. I don't have a coat closet, so I just kind of have to throw everything on this table, under this table, in the basket. I even have to keep my stroller over there, which is such an eyesore, but I'm hoping I can figure out something to do with all of that stuff soon. And here I am scooping my cat's litter box, which I never show on my channel, but you can't actually really see anything. And I do get questions sometimes about where his litter box is, oddly enough, and where I keep his litter box, and about what I use to clean his litter box, so I figured I would include this. This little litter box house, you can get these all over Wayfair or Amazon, they're really cheap. This one I took from my parents and their cat was not using it, and I don't know, it does the job just fine, but he does still get litter everywhere. And finally, the last thing that I needed to do before I was calling it a day on this video is put back together Carson's bed so it was ready for him for bedtime later on in that day. But we're going to end this video here. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it gave you a ton of cleaning motivation. Don't forget if you want to enter the giveaway, I hope you were keeping track of how many times my child decided to change his clothing while I was filming this video. And then also, of course, be subscribed to my channel and following me over on my Instagram. But once again, I hope that this video got you motivated and got you moving. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will come back next week for a new video. Just watch me break